Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to plot sample sine and cosine signal in Python. Now we shall import libraries. Two libraries we shall import. One is NumPy library and the other one is uh, matplotlib. Import NumPy as np and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Just here is to define independent and dependent variable. Then, so I'm using arrange in numpy. It start from zero and set one in a steps of zero point zero zero one. Xn is equal to now this is a dependent variable. Cause sorry np dot if at all if i want to uh, plot sine wave np dot sine of 2 into np dot pi into f is let us have 3 hertz into n i have an error era spell mistake era n g fine now i have to plot the signal so to plot to plot the signal uh, plt dot stem stem is to have discrete time signal whereas plot is to have continuous time signal uh, first is independent variable which is n and the next is dependent variable xn right and we shall have title as well plt dot title sampled sine wave we shall have title for x axis and y axis as well plt dot x label since it's a sample signal it's n and plt dot y label it's the amplitude let me run it okay so as you can see there are actually samples but since the number of samples which I defined is more, uh, I am unable to see the samples clearly. Uh, let me tell you what's happening here. If I try to define, uh, if I try to see what is there in n, so n n is actually has lot of values, right? Because it is it has a steps of 0 0.001. I think I have totally thousand samples here, so that's why. Uh, all the samples are almost overlapped to each other that's why I'm unable to see the samples so if you want to see the samples nicely you just decrease this resolution instead of having 0 0.001 if I have 0 0.01 and if I run all the cells now you can see the samples clearly right and even if I reduce the resolution now this has only 10 samples if you look at here i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and one more here is 10 okay so this is how we actually plot sine and cosine sample signal thank you